In a recent article about Battlefield 2042 posted by EA discusses positive play when it comes to the highly anticipated news of mouse and keyboard support for console. So in this video, that's what I'm going to talk about. Welcome back Militia, thanks so much for joining. My name is Mag and a feature that's near and dear to my heart over the years is mouse and keyboard support for console. Now before we jump in, I want to make sure you guys listen to the whole video and have all the information you need before commenting down below as a lot of comments from my last mouse and keyboard support video had a lot of misinformation. Now I don't blame those of you who haven't heard of the feature, but to give some context of my personal experience, I have played many FPS titles over the years with mouse and keyboard support on console in preparation for the days that I would finally own a PC. However, recently EA has given us information that you can find down in the description that they will not be implementing mouse and keyboard support at launch in 2042. Now I do want to preface that I'm talking about native mouse and keyboard support, and that's when you just plug a mouse and keyboard into your system, it reads that you're using a mouse and keyboard, it gets rid of your aim assist, and you cannot switch your inputs in-game. Doesn't matter what you do, it will not switch it. I'm not discussing the people out there that buy an adapter that tricks the system into thinking that you're using a controller when in reality you're using a mouse and keyboard, and then it continues to let you use aim assist. In my opinion, those people are cheaters and they will cheat no matter what unless they are disciplined. The second thing they said on this topic in the article, EA also states how they will continue to investigate various options in making this feature available. Although I in fact believe that I have a solution that I've been championing for a while now, and how they can implement it, how they can create this innovative feature in the shooter world, and even reduce the never-ending mouse and keyboard versus aim assist debate, and that feature is called input matchmaking. Now I'm going to save the whole mouse and keyboard versus controller debate for another video as I have my own opinions on how to fix this as well. Now before we dive into input matchmaking, I want to discuss a couple things. So in my opinion, with next-gen consoles and next-gen games that come out that have crossplay, there's really no reason not to let players choose what input they play on. There's a few situations that happen with a lot of people. Not everybody can afford a PC or even know how to maintain a PC, so it's just easier to get a system, just like a console. So there's really no reason with next-gen consoles that have crossplay that platform should ever dictate the input. But in my opinion, when some consoles are even becoming stronger than some current PCs out there and even have their own FOV slider in-game, the only reason to not have this feature or input matchmaking is due to technical limitations or different priorities by the creators of the game, which is what I feel like came with Battlefield 2042. They already delayed the game, so in my opinion, they probably just didn't get to it. Now to get into this innovative feature that I could see becoming more mainstream is input matchmaking. I want to explain a little bit of what it is, and it's quite literally exactly how it sounds, and that's when you're using a specific input and you match up with other players using that specific input. For example, if a controller player is queuing up, they will get matched up with other controller players across all platforms, whereas if you're on a mouse and keyboard, you will also be matched up with all people using mouse and keyboard across all platforms. Now input matchmaking is not a new concept, but for some reason it just hasn't become mainstream yet, which is incredibly odd to me considering this specific feature could get rid of or at least reduce the amount of people complaining about mouse and keyboard versus aim assist. And this debate has become recently, once again, a very hot topic by professional streamers. And the inevitable problem with this type of thing, if you do not have this type of feature implemented and you do not have mouse and keyboard support, the inevitable problem for people is they just won't want to queue up with each other and they'll just turn crossplay off due to the lack of competitive integrity. This is completely the opposite of what they want. They spent all this time and resources into making a crossplay game, and if people just turn it off, you're still going to have a bunch of people separated from each other, which is completely the opposite of where we should be heading. Now I know I could go on and on about this topic, but for the sake of making a somewhat shorter video, I want to ex start explaining my ideal vision regarding the future of shooters. Now, my ideal vision would have about three options for crossplay. The first being the full crossplay, which is exactly what we're used to. Everybody gets pulled together. You can look at a game like Wars, and that's exactly how it is. Now, keep in mind, they actually have mouse and keyboard support for console, and that was actually a lot of fun for myself and a lot of players. But what would have made it even better is input matchmaking, like I've discussed. And this would be the second option. That's where that comes in. So everybody would still have crossplay, everybody would get pulled together except it would be based on input matchmaking. So whatever input you're using, that's who you would queue up with. And for me, that's the ideal situation. You have mouse and keyboard versus controller. That kind of debate goes away because you're only fighting against the people using the same input minus the people, yes, I know, that have those devices that will trick the system. But again, I'd like to see that go away. 
And then the last option would of course have crossplay between consoles versus PC. In my opinion, there's no reason to split up PlayStation versus Xbox. I think they should play together while PC remains separate. Now, I do understand that this is a very new topic for some, but mark my words, this will and needs to become a standard in every FPS title coming up with crossplay. Not only would this reduce the amount of people bickering over mouse and keyboard versus controller, but it would also improve the player base for every platform in multiple games, and it would just frankly be more fun for a lot of people. EA, if you are listening to this video, I urge you, as someone who has spent years talking about this topic, please start working on these features. I do understand that input matchmaking, of course, is a little too advanced to implement into 2042 if it hasn't already been started, but mouse and keyboard support for console while having crossplay turned on is a necessity, otherwise people will just turn off crossplay, and that's basically the exact opposite of what we need. It's always better to give players the option to play how they would want, and it's not only the right thing to do, but it's completely ironic that in the fair play article, you just aren't giving players the feature that they would want to try out, especially before even the beta starts. PC players get to decide their input, so why not console? All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys have learned something and I hope I'm helping some of you guys out there. I urge you guys, if you do want this type of feature, if you want this video to be heard, you need to like and comment down below. I have a deep passion for these types of features and I cannot stress how important and how innovative these features could be in the FPS world. I really hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you do, be sure to join the community by one tapping those YouTube targets down below. I promise I will continue to champion for these features in future FPS titles. Have a good one. Take care, Militia. Bye. Remember these Irish. So will I. Only one way to stop this war, and that's to get in the middle of it. Put a call out to any notepad who will listen. 36 hours to door.